So as you can see on the sheet now, and I'm here to interview some beauty ladies. We have some few questions. So I want to ask you, if you are given 24 hours or a week to run this country as a president, what are the key issues you are going to focus on? This one. <laughs> what are the key issues you are going to focus on? I want discipline in Ghana, you know, and then put some things right. Like things like what? You want to we don't have able leaders here. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Sh I'm so really? Yes. So my next question comes in where I ask you what issues do you think the leaders should focus on? Bribery and corruption. They should avoid bribery and corruption. Come on now, dog. Come <laughs> on, man. Yes. Thank you very much. Welcome. So I've met another handsome and energetic guy. And I want to ask you, please, if you are given a week to run this country as a president, what are the issues you are going to focus on? Thank you very much. Um, I think the country has been making some gains in terms of um, the key indicators. Um, for me, I think healthcare is one of the things that really has been on my heart. And so, you know, we need good health to be able to, I mean, work on other aspects of um, the economy. So my priority will be on following up on health projects and making sure that our health systems are improved. The hospitals that lack um, most amenities, um, I think, will attend to their basic needs, create more spaces in terms of beds and all that, so that the issue about poor health delivery in the country would be no more. So, healthcare first. I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, my next question, Council. Uh, what do you think are the key issues or the issues that the leaders of this country have to focus on now? All right, so as I said, um, we cannot take health out of it. I know government has been making a lot of improvements in terms of building more hospitals. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, about 100, 100 plus hospitals um, under construction currently. Um, aside healthcare, also in terms of um, creation of jobs for the youth, I think um, we should empower the private sector more so the private sector can stand strong to create more opportunities for the youth in the country. And um, also boosting production. Um, we have to empower local manufacturers to be able to produce more so that um, while producing more, we can be able to export and also get some uh, forex into the country. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. All right. Nice meeting. It's a pleasure, thank you. Yeah, so I'm here with another free today. This was your name. Daniela. Daniela, nice to meet you. Nice so, meet Daniela, you. if you are given 24 hours or a week to run as president of this country, what are the issues you are going to deal with? <laughs> I have no idea. You have no idea. You have no idea. Don't do that here. There are no issues bothering you in this country that I like to deal with when you become mm. president of Canada. I'll cancel the free education. You cancel the free education. Yes. You give me some one or two reasons why you cancel free education. Mm. I just completed. I just completed the SHS. I know the challenge that I'm facing. Yeah, you want to know the challenges so that people out there, parents and kids out there, will be aware of these challenges and know how to. Okay, them. like the dining food. It's very bad. Yeah? Yes. What else? And where you sleep, the beds, the cooker. So then. <laughs> <laughs> Dining food, geometry, yes. how about the quality of education given oh, by the that teachers? One. That one is mm, good. Take okay. us free books. So now that you want to tackle this situation, currently we have some leaders running the country. What do you think yeah. they should focus on now? Aside the education as the free education aspect we want them to, what do you think the leaders of this country should focus on? <laughs> Minute. Who are you? You have no idea. Thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. Nice meeting. Okay. okay, so you have another person here. Please, who am I here with? Mimi. Mimi. So, Mimi, I want to ask you if you had to run to be the president of Ghana for a week, what are the key issues you are going to focus on? Well, first of all, I'm going to focus on this Alam State thing because okay. just recently, I had a stomach upset because I bought food outside. And from what I realized, they use this calamity water to wash their vegetables. What? Oh, wow. Well, 
Well, secondly, I'll try the improvement of the roads because they are really bad. They always say they are going to, how do I say, fix them to no avail. Thirdly, I would say the schools. Last time I was watching a program with my mom. They abandoned projects they started and didn't complete. Well, completing it won't be bad. But, Bro, you can go on. Well, <laughs> well, the last thing I will do is try to create homes for homeless kids. Okay. Yeah. So, thank you for the challenges you did us. But you kindly know we have people running the country right now. So, aside the four things we've mentioned, which is the galaxy, the education, the bad rules for productivity. What was the last one? I didn't mention Creating the homes for yeah, the, homeless. the homeless. So what other thing do you think the leader should focus on right now? Well, right now, I would think they should try and help those in... How do I say? The... Not in part of Ghana, because I heard they are struggling most with... Right now, like in this economy. Yeah. Room. So yeah. They should help those in the northern aspect of Ghana. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Do you You're like welcome. to give a shout out to someone? Nah. No one. Not even your mom, your dad. Okay, friends. shout out to my daddy. I love you so much, daddy. Alright, nice to meet you. Thank you. And thank you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm here with one mother, as you can see, and I want to also know her view. Mm. She's given a chance to be the president of Ghana. It's a mom. So, a yeah, mom, one week, say, yeah, president of oh, Ghana. Issues then are uh, open cell with the entire. Okay. They are members to me, I only say. Jamma will go in your mamma. I'm a jar who to abba. Okay. This is my mum, I do. To me, I'll cry a mammy one week. I'm a good boy, your mamma. I hope to abba. I saw the asso. It is what it is. It is what it is. So they've said currently, your leaders be our Omokra or my own. See, issues then of who best sell more shit. That be the eye after you are my. Mm-hmm. To say you should bet, to say you should bet, no, no. To say you should. To say you should. Eh. Then, then, I'm going to say you should. And you're 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 going to say you should. Hmm. But yeah. Okay. They are meant to me. I should say, yeah. Yeah. So, what I'm going to say, yeah. President, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going Yes, you you no, I follow. So as you can see, I'm here with another person. Uh, who am I here with? Petra. Petra. So Petra, if you are given a week to be president of Ghana, what are you going to do? Okay. Should I come down to a level? Okay. <laughs> Tell me what are you going to do if you are given a week to be president of Ghana? First of all. The Galamsi is destroying the land, so maybe stop illegal mining. And then education. What about education? Upgraded. Upgraded. To so extend that after completion of either basic school or secondary school, you get a work to do. Okay, so yeah. you've mentioned education, which has factored into unemployment as well. Mm -hmm. So currently, we have leaders running the country. What do you think they should look at before the year ends? Or it should, they should, yeah, because they are going to a new election. They are going to get a new president. So currently, what do you think the leader should do? Organize opinion polls for, I mean, questions to be answered okay. by the youth. Because the youth are rather suffering, so to ask the youth questions, and then they'll get some tips as to what to do with the country. That's very insightful. Please, leaders out there, they say you should organize the youth <laughs> and listen to the opinions of them. So you know how to run. Oh, you are going this time. 
you know how to run the country before the year ends. Else, thank you very much. You want to give a shout out to someone out there? Um, nice. Bye.